Hello and welcome back to as of So today I'm going to share my own experience of the radio placement on the plate carrier and some of the pros and cons on different positions. So I have tried putting the radio on the front of the kamaban, the back and the back of the place carrier. So first let's talk about the front of the kamaban and the pros and cons of it. Now there are two ways to attach the radios in the front. You can either put it in a moldy radio pouch on the kamaban like this or you can get one of these velcro side wings that goes into the front of the plate carrier and there are pros and cons of each of them so let's go for the side wing first so for a side wing pouch you velcro on the front and you get your compartment wrapped around the pouch and you put down the flaps and that's how you install the pouch and the cool thing about this is that it will be secure in front it won't it won't drag the pouch down as it's velcro on the front it's very secure and also if you have your wiring wiring to your PTD in here when you're taking out the camera button, the wire won't get in the way, it will stay in this area. And having the radio in the front, it doesn't really restrict your movement. I mean, you're, when you're rotating, when you're going under the trees, branches, you know the radio is in front of you, so you won't get slashed on any branches. And I usually put it on the left side, since this is the arm that I'm extending when I'm holding the rifle. The right arm is tight against my body, so I usually have something flat on my right side. And if on that day, you do not feel like bringing a radio, you can simply take out the radio pouch without interfering with your whole place carrier setup and another good thing on the side wing is that you get a slight adjustment on the height so for velcroing the front panels you get like one to two inch spot that you can adjust the height up and down whereas if you're bolting on the top it is fixed and you cannot do any height adjustment and some of the downside of the side wing is that since it's under your top the radio will be digging into your body so to some people you might not feel comfortable and the other thing is that if you need to take out the radio to change the channel or whatever after taking out the radio the pouch will most likely will most likely to collapse to your body so so then you have a pretty hard time to put it back in without taking out your combo bun but let's say you have something like the feral wingman where you have the elastic fabric after taking out the radio it's pretty hard to put it back in with one hand with the combo bun over it so just keep that in mind and for the side wings beside the quiet they have a new one this is the air light the old one the farewell the spiritual system also makes some side wings out of all the side wings currently i like the air light the most simply because you can adjust the height up and down and this video is mainly for big chunky radio like this the 152 or the 148 and another good thing about the side wing is that once you're coming up and going over it you don't waste any moldy spot for another attachment if you need to. And now moving on to a radio placement on the front of the camera bun on a pouch. So the pros and cons of this is pretty much the opposite of the side wing. So for example, if you have your radio here and your wiring set up, if you're taking out the camera bun, the wiring will get in the way. And also if you have your radio here, when you take off the camera bun, it will simply drop to the floor and then it will snatch the wire. So if you have it set up here, I would not take off the camera one when I'm putting on or putting off the EFS and then there's the moldy space that you already use up on the radio pouch and you cannot use it for anything else and well the good thing is it's outside of the camera one so it won't dig into your body and it's easier to take out and put it back if you have to adjust the channel or for something else but when you're choosing the radio pouch there's a few things that you should consider and the first is the height so for example, for me, I don't like the video to have it way up high. So this Quiet 152 pouch, I can see the video pretty low on the camera bun. So as you can see here, it's way about here. And if I'm using, let's say, the SNS enhanced video pouch, and since the moldy doesn't start up on top, it starts up right here. So if I'm putting this on, you will see like almost half of the video is coming over the camera bun. And this is kind of getting the way of my face on top. But also if you have one that is too low, sitting too low, when you crouch down, it might like touch your thigh and your thigh might like bump the whole camera bun up. So there's something to watch out for. And then there are also video pouch like the Blue Force here, where you can tilt the video and you can tune everything and then you can once you record it back up. And those are easy for easier access. So you don't have to take off the video and to change the keypad but another thing you need to consider when you're choosing a pouch is that if you're not bringing radio on that day can the pouch be used for something else so for example if i'm using the sns 
And if I'm not using the video on that day, this pouch pretty much cannot be used for anything else. I mean, you, you might be able to fit a Mac also in there, but it's kind of a waste of space. And there are limited stuff that you can put in there to do the, you know, the openings and open tops. So by choosing the Quiet 152, since it is a flap moldy pouch, if I'm not bringing a video, I can simply use this to store two more magazines as it is always useful. So just something to keep in mind when you're choosing a video pouch because you don't want to take the pouch out and put something and move something back in if you're not using a video on that date. So next it is the video on the back of the camera van. Now the wiring that you will set up, you will go through the top of the shoulder strap and down to the PTD. So if you're taking out the camera van, it will not affect your wiring and it will not drag your camera van down if your video is on here. And the height placement up and down doesn't matter that much when you're out in the back except if you have it too high the antenna might get over your you know the side of your left side so when you go under the branches sometimes it might have a chance to snag on the antenna but having a video in here you can't really take it out and change the channel simply because of your wiring if you're wiring through here already you have limited length on the wire you might not be able to take the video out and pull it in front for you to change the channel and if you're using those tilted pouch if you still back in you can't really reach on the back here to touch anything so if you're setting your video in here if you have to do something to it most likely you have to take out the whole plate carrier in order to access your video and finally is having your video at the back now this two position is very similar except that if you have some kind of pouch like this you can just dump your radio inside it won't take up another moldy spot in here and the good thing is it won't be in your way it's not over here it's not anywhere it's just at the back of your plate carrier and the only thing that might get in your way is the antenna again when you're crouching down under the branch you might get snatched on the antenna and you can access the keypad as well without taking the whole plate carrier off so before i have the SNS in here and I put the hydrogen beside but later on I feel like I want to carry a little bit more stuff and the GP pouch was not big enough for me so I changed to the zip pack and so I'm putting the radio back in the front but if you're not putting that much stuff the back could be a choice for you as for the radio itself there are few accessories that can make this smaller so for example the antenna they have a soft extend one where it doesn't go up all the way here it, it kind of like a soft wire and then with a big antenna at the back and then there's also a power adapter which you can take this break it into two pieces and they have an adapter connecting the radio to the battery so it doesn't have to be a big tall chunky bit it will be separate into two bits and then there's a keyback controller where you can put it in the front and you can put the radio anywhere and then you can access the change the channel or do the settings on the keypad up in the front. But with the wheel and the toy replica the compatibility, you have to check for yourself. I don't know which one match which. And this is a TCA 152, and I just used it stock. I didn't do any of the um, accessories. And for myself, as you can see, I put the radio in the front camera one. I could use the side wings, but then for the AVS, since I have a harness and a camera one, I have the I mean, inside like this, my compartment will have to go over the pouch and I will lose this space anyways and I feel like there's too much of a hazard going in and out so in the end, in the end I just decided to get an external radio pouch in front and since the harness is pretty stiff I have no issue putting this on without taking the compartment off in here so I don't mess up my, I don't have to mess up the wiring in here so yeah, this is my personal choice. I just, in the end, I just choose to have the radio in front, and just so that I have some in case I need to change or do anything, is it there for me to access the video? But it's merely personal choice for different people. And also, the radio is not limited to these three positions. Anywhere that's not blocking your movement, anywhere it's not slacking, slashing on anything, then that is a good position for you. So yeah, this is my sharing of the three positions that I have used so far and the pros and cons of it. So please let me know if you have another suggestion or if you have another preference of the video placements. And I will see you guys next time.